Hey, listener, what's up? Thank you for pressing play on this special edition of the Jock and Nerd podcast. I've got a quick review for you of a cool gaming chair made by a company called E-Win Racing. You're going to get my thoughts on the assembly, the look, the comfort and features of this really cool E-Win Night Series gaming chair. Get 25% off your very own gaming chair by using the code JOCKNERD at checkout at ewinracing.com. Let's get to it. Check. Check one. All right. This is for all you fans out there. Let's give it up. Jock and we heard it. We funny. Disturb it. We jock it. We heard it. We're spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. Jock it. We heard it. We funny. Disturb it. Hello and welcome to the Jock and Nerd Podcast, where we deliver comic book and superhero TV and movie news, reviews, and whatever we choose. Jock and Nerd! My name is Imran, and I'm flying solo here on this very special edition of of the show where I'm going to utilize the whatever we choose portion of our tagline uh, and give you a re- product review of an incredible gaming chair made by Ewin Racing. Now, for my day job, uh, for the past eight years, I've been sitting on an exercise ball in the office for work. I do a lot of graphic design, spend a lot of time. Uh, and so the ball has been great in the office. Uh, it makes me sit up straight. It, it utilizes my core. You can't slouch. I'm always bouncing around. It's a lot of fun. But another uh, unanticipated effect of sitting on a ball for years is regular chairs now really hurt my back when I spend a lot of time in them. And I realize how important it is to select the right chair. For the Jock and Nerd little studio here I have at home, I spend a lot of time right here editing the show, researching the show, recording the show, doing some freelance illustration and graphic design. And I've been sitting on an old wooden dining chair. Uh, That's not been the best. I got to get up eventually uh, and walk around and stretch my back out. But when the fine folks at evenracing.com reached out and offered us a chair for review, oh, I jumped at the opportunity because I needed a new chair. And let me tell you what, I found my new podcasting chair. This is a premium, high-end luxury gaming chair. So not only were they nice enough to send me a chair for review, they were also nice enough to give us huge savings for you, the listener. If you visit ewinracing.com, use the code JOCKNERD at checkout, and you will get 25% off Ewin Racing Gaming Chairs. Very cool of them to do it. Let me, uh, let me tell you about the chair, the model that I got. It is the Ewin Night Series Ergonomic Computer Gaming Office Chair with pillows. Yes, it comes with pillows. So I'm more than happy to give my full honest review. In exchange for this chair, there will be photos and a full written review and links to their website in the show notes for this post. That you can find at jockandnerd.com slash ewin. All right, check out all the links, check out the photos. Let's get to the review. The Jock and Nerd Podcast. Uh, the chair arrived in at my house very quickly. Uh, I'm gonna start with the assembly. If you've ever assembled any kind of office furniture or shelves or tables, you know uh the most overwhelming part is when you open the box and there's just a whole bunch of generic looking parts and it's a little crazy. Not so here. You open the box. I noticed right away. It's well packed. There's not too many parts. Uh, it's, there's just exactly what you need and you already, you feel the solid construction. These are heavy, sturdy chairs. Now I will admit I may not be the most mechanically inclined person, uh, you know, you can ask my wife when uh, things around the house need fixing, but I am very good at following directions. And it did come with pretty easy to follow directions, full color photographs, uh, which was very helpful. 
And it comes with another unique feature I've never seen when assembling stuff. Uh, it came with a pair of white installation gloves, uh, which is very smart. First of all, you feel cool. You're in the assembling mood. Uh, you put them on. And uh, the, there's a lot of pre-installed hex bolts that are greased up. They're lubed up, so they come in and out. So at the end, of my the gloves had a little bit of grease on them. Uh, and it was great not having to worry about getting your hands dirty or anything. And it's got a little texture on there. Uh, and it comes with all the hex bolts, Allen wrenches, everything you need, extra pieces, decorative pieces uh, to cover up the screws. Uh, the assembly, not hard at all. Following the instructions were great. I will admit that I had a little bit of trouble attaching the chair back to the seat, just lining it up and get the chair, getting the screws to go in. But once you line it up uh, and you get it going, uh, the rest of it is a breeze uh, and very easy to do. Easily done by one person. I assemble the whole thing myself. If you have another person to help for a, a, a couple of steps, it's probably uh, very helpful to have that second body, but it's not necessary. You can put this whole thing together uh, by yourself. So from opening, cutting open the box, laying everything out, assembling it to sitting in the chair, it took me about 40 minutes. And I'm a stoner dumbass. So that means like a normal person probably take you about 20 minutes. But I didn't think it was uh, a long time at all to assemble uh, such a nice chair like this. Getting it up in the office, the chair looks super sharp. Uh, the design, it's great. Uh, it has nice, uh, I have a, it's black with some red trim. Uh, there's even red on the, the wheels and the base uh, fits into my little office studio perfectly. Uh, uh, the design is based on like a high end racing car seat. In fact, one of my guilty pleasures is um, the voice on NBC, you know, the singing show. These chairs remind me of the voice chairs the judges sit in and then they press the button and spin around if they like the artist and want them on their team. Uh, that's how slick this design is. Like that, that uh, I, I sometimes I'll turn on the voice and take the chair and turn my back to it. And if I like the person singing, I'll slowly spin around and imagine that now I have to fight for them to be on my team. Yeah. Sometimes I can be lame like that. Lame. <laughs> the, uh, the chair is made out of PVC leather and it looks really premium. Feels really nice. Easy to clean. Uh, a lo it's just a sharp looking chair. As far as the comfort and features of this chair, I mentioned the chair comes with two pillows. There's a little pillow for the headrest that comes with a, a strap that's adjustable. And then there's a lower lumbar pillow for your back that you can remove. You can move it around. It's not connected to anything. So if you don't want it, uh, you don't have to use it. But it's a great option because it does uh, make you sit up straight and helps with the lower back pain. It's a, it really gives me great posture while I'm podcasting. It's a very comfy and roomy and sturdy. What they use is uh, something called high density cold cure foam for the seat and the back. And it's very similar to memory foam. So it's firm, comfortable. It's not super soft. Uh, like some other office chairs are. It has uh, adjustable height, hydraulic pistons at the bottom. You can go up and down, adjustable armrests, uh, which are great. And it has a lever to lean back. So you can have this chair upright. You can have it a little bit lean back. You could lean this thing all the way back and take a nap in this chair. Put your feet up on something. That's how far back it goes. It's pretty amazing. Uh, another great thing was uh, they asked me by height and weight to uh, send me the chair that would fit, you know, my body type. And there is a sizing chart on the site. So whether you are small or tall or large, they have a chair that fits for you. This chair, I believe, maximum uh, weight load is like a 400 pounds. And they even have ones that are 500 pounds. So great selection for every type of gamer person and one of the most important things about the comfort and the features that I, you know i don't think a, a lot of other people uh, appreciate but i do is that it is super quiet which really was very important to me when we started podcasting because originally i had an office chair and it was so squeaky and so noisy and i'm like this ain't gonna work 
had to get rid of it, got this wooden chair with no moving parts, but I am sitting in this chair now, and you can roll around, glides easily on the floor, and makes no noise. So great for podcasters, great for YouTubers, uh, and which brings me to my next point. Who would I recommend this chair for? Who is this chair good for? I definitely recommend it for gamers. It's super comfortable. You could spend hours in here, but also, like I said, podcasters. YouTubers, you guys need a chair to shoot your YouTube videos that's quiet, that doesn't squeak. This is the perfect chair. This is a great office chair replacement. It may seem weird to choose a gaming chair for a work chair, an office chair, but they look sharp. Like it just looks cool in the office, grabs the attention, and uh, it's a great replacement for your regular office chair. And another group of people I think this chair is great for is graphic artists, freelance artists that work at home that sit in front of their Wacom Cintiq and spend hours drawing, making their art, putting it on the internet, trying to make a living. I would highly recommend this chair because you can roll around. You can lean back, take a break. You could draw, you can roll over, play some video games. The chair is fantastic. Uh, and I've spent like three weeks now sitting in this chair, super comfortable, does not hurt my back. The little back pillow is great. And you know, listener, the holidays are approaching. This would make a great holiday gift for that gamer in your life, for that podcaster, for that artist, or even for that person that's looking as their office chair is uh, falling apart and they need to replace it. Uh, I would definitely suggest looking at the website and finding them something. Currently, the chair I'm sitting in in October 2019 retails on their site for $189, but at ewinracing.com, they have sales all the time, uh, and you can get... 25% 25% off by using our promo code JockNerd at checkout, giving you even more savings. Uh, again, check out the photos, links to the website, and the written review in the show notes for this episode at jockandnerd.com slash ewin. And man, I love this chair. I love this movie. Chair. I love this chair. It is my new podcasting chair. Uh, I'm looking forward to creating many episodes of the Jock and Nerd podcast in comfort, sitting in this chair. And chairs are important, listener. Let me tell you, if you have back problems, uh, if you find yourself uh, a little sore, look at the chair you're sitting in. Look at how much time you're spending in there. We spend a lot of times in these chairs. So if you want a premium, comfortable, well-made gaming chair that just looks sharp, check out ewinracing.com. Tell them Jock and Nerd sent you. Use the promo code. Get extra savings. And uh, you will not be sorry. Thanks for listening to the special edition of the Jock and Nerd Podcast. My name is Imran. We will peep you next time. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Hey, this is Evan. Hey, Jason Underwood. And we hope you're enjoying the shows on the Danger Entertainment Network now, including the Bearded Ones Comedy Podcast. Yeah, we're super thrilled to be a part of this awesome lineup, guys. Um, and what we do here on our show is it's look, we are just trying to make you guys laugh through all kinds of different avenues. Hear me out here. Yeah. Hear me out. Please. What we are is we're two geeky white dudes talking and trying to be funny. Yeah, not trying to blow in your mind here with, uh, <laughs> with something brand, brand new, new, but... Um, yeah. You never heard anything like this. We talk about Star Wars. <laughs> talk about, we talk about superheroes. We talk about Marvel movies, man. <laughs> Look, we are... We're cutting some damn... We're, we're, we're breaking some damn boundaries over we here. We are. Breaking new ground. Yeah. But for real, what we do is we play invented games. Yeah, and we try to spin everything into a brand new fun game that we've made yeah. up. Um, we filter it all through that sensibility. and We're both improvisers, so a lot of what we talk about ends up in, in, in sort of a scene that we have a lot of fun with. Uh, we talk about our lives, pop culture and movies. We talk about a little bit of everything. So if that's what you like, check us out. Bearded Ones Comedy Podcast on the Danger Entertainment Network. They look like Vikings. Ah!